So everyone, what I'm going to do in this video is to show you how to reflect an object in the line y equal x, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to come over to this side and you're going to select input and you're going to type in y equal x and then you press enter. And the line y equal x is being drawn for you. Then what you need to do, you need to always click back on this arrow here to ensure that whichever fe features you just use is no longer in selection all right are no longer active so what i want to do now i am going to select the reflection tool and it says reflect about a line you're going to select that option they select that option all you're going to do you're going to tap on the object you want to reflect which is this object here which is a trapezium so you're going to select this object and then you're going to select the line y equal x which is this line and it's automatically reflected for you all right so this is the reflection which is a prime b prime c prime and d prime now there's another cool features about this you can also change the color of your image if you want to which is to select this tool this geometry tool rather you select this tool here this is the color option you select that color and let's say that you want it to be in a different color so you just pick any color you want and you just change it just like that if you want to get fancy with it all right let's see that i want to do another polygon but this time I want to reflect it in the line y equal minus x. So, so you always select back your plus your arrow here. So now I'm going to select the polygon tool. And let's say this time I want to use a triangle. So I'm going to select polygon. And then I can draw my triangle anywhere over here. So I'm going to choose this as one point. Let's say I want another point to be there. And let's say I need another point to be there. And I want another point to be there. Note that after I completed my triangle, the sides are labeled. I don't want the sides to be labeled. So I'm going to click back on the arrow first. And then I'm going to click on this, the label of each side. And then I'm just going to click show label. And those will disappear. All right, so now I can also change the color of my triangle. So let's say I want the color to change. I just select the triangle. Note that the color up here, I can change it. So select that. And let's say I want to use blue. So you can also increase the blue or not. Let's say I want it a little bit darker. So I just scroll there. And that's basically it. Now, now you need to select back your R here. Now I need the line y equal minus x. So again, just go to input and type y equal minus x. And that's the line there and select enter. So this is the line y equal minus x. I want to reflect this triangle. In that line, so what you need to do is to now go back and select the arrow first, and then you're going to select the reflection menu, which is this tool here, and select reflect about a line. Select that, then you're going to select your object, and then you're going to select the, the line y equal minus x, which is this line, and then your reflection is automatically done but note we are not seeing it on the page so what i'm going to do i'm going to select my arrow then i'm going to left click on the grid paper and i'm going to slide drag down so i can see the reflection so there is the reflection all right which is f prime g prime and e prime you can also change the color to show 
that this is the image so you just always select back this arrow and then you're going to select your image and let's say i want the color to change i just select this and let's say i'm going to use this color this time and that's it so that's how you use the GeoGebra software to do a reflection in the line y equal x and also the line y equal minus x thank you for watching and do enjoy the rest of your day